Hey, 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 Pajama Grandma here with Chronic Painkillers Prescriptions. My way of sharing some of the best tips, tricks, and strategies that I've learned over the past 37 years dealing with chronic illnesses and chronic pains. Pains, chronic pain. Well, they've been pains, lots of pains, but chronic pain. I've had chronic illnesses and, and chronic pain since my very early 20s. I became, you know, mysteriously ill and spent... Oh, years dealing with doctors and specialists and experts to the point of my breaking point, which was um, them not knowing what to do with me and either I was going to be bedridden for the rest of my life or I was going to make another choice and figure it out on my own because that's what ended up having to happen. I had to take back control of my life, take back control of my health and treat myself as my own science experiment to figure out what was going to work for me. And so I'm sharing these as I, I call them prescriptions because it's kind of a medical type thing that sounds kind of like something that would be important for people that have chronic pain or chronic illness, but they're really not prescriptions at all in the sense that they're not anything medical and they're not um, like a drug or a, a pill because there is no magic pill. There is no magic pill that is going to save any of us. I. I hate to be the bearer of bad news if that is a news flash to you, but there is no procedure or pill or, or invention that is going to 100% fix any of us, much less all of the 1.5 billion people of us that do have chronic pain. Now, I'm not sure if all the people with chronic illness are included in that number, but either way, it's a huge number. So today's prescription is, there's no hiding from those who know. You're probably thinking, what the heck does that mean, Pajama Grandma Sharon? I have no idea what that means. But what that means is that those that have experienced something similar to you, those who have chronic pain, those who have had chronic illnesses, those who have been through similar experiences, like, you know, the, all the things that a lot of us or most of us with chronic pain actually experience, there's no hiding from other people that have experienced that. They can see it in your eyes. I can see it in people's eyes if they've had chronic pain or not because <laughs> we just recognize it in one another. We recognize similar experiences in other human beings. It's an innate inborn feature that we all have and capability we all have. But the flip side of that is that there is no explaining and no understanding. It's impossible for someone that has not had chronic illnesses or chronic pain or been through some of the experiences that we have to understand and and get it. And it's really, really frustrating for a lot of, the, of us with chronic pain, but there's no sense being frustrated about it because it's like expecting a man to understand what childbirth feels like. And that's probably my best analogy. There's no way any man on this planet has a clue what birthing a child is like. They, they just don't get it. You can explain it to them as to the best of your ability, but they cannot grasp or really feel it because they haven't personally experienced it. It's like when you lose somebody close to you because they die. I used to always try to relate to my, my friends and family and people when I was at a funeral. And I hated funerals because I could not, I could not relate. Nobody really close to me had passed away. And so I didn't feel right. I never knew what to say. I didn't feel like I could ever get it. And I couldn't until my dad passed away. And then when my dad passed away, I too went through that experience of losing someone really close to me. And, and I then knew how it felt. And that's where this no hiding from people that know and um, no helping people that don't and haven't experienced it be able to understand. And just trying to get other people to understand what we go through, that, that can be so frustrating. And it's a completely waste of our time and our energy. And we need all the energy that we've got to make us feel better, to kill our chronic pain and to create the life that we deserve. We don't need to waste any energy on anything that doesn't make us feel better. And I don't know about you, but for me, try to get people that don't have a clue because they haven't experienced it themselves to understand anything that I've experienced is a complete and total and utter waste of my time. So keep in mind that 
there's no hiding from people that know. So search out and look for people that have had the same experiences as you. Not to commiserate and to feel bad, but so that you know that they've been through what you've been through and they can relate and they can help and support and coach you through how to get to the next step for yourself versus, you know, people that have never experienced chronic pain or chronic illness. And that includes our medical providers, our doctors and our nurses and people that work in the healthcare industry. The, the vast majority of them don't have and never have experienced chronic pain or chronic illness. So when they say things that, that just make you feel bad or off or that are just like, really, you said that to me? You don't believe that I'm experiencing this? Well, how would you know? Well, they don't know. They wouldn't know. They couldn't know. So today's prescription is expect the best of yourself. Search out people that actually have had similar experiences that you are experiencing or you are having. And I always like to look for people that are a little bit further on their journey with chronic pain or chronic illness than I am. People that have made it through the, the process or the step that I'm going through so I can look and see what did they do to get through it faster? What can I learn from them to make my journey, my experience quicker and easier? So that's today's prescription. Go out, make it an awesome pain-free day, and I will see you again with another chronic painkillers prescription.